right, now in CQC shooting, many times it's quite desirable to be behind cover. In fact, it's always desirable to have cover and concealment. The difference being cover will deflect or stop bullets. Concealment just hides you from the adversary that you're, uh, you're, you're starting to stay away from. Uh, this block wall would represent cover. And so let's talk about how to use cover in a CQC situation and uh, some of the advantages that you can also take for accuracy with cover. Uh, first off, whenever you have an objective to get around this cover, uh, I will tell you that it's very bad tactically to hug the cover and come up around here because you just don't know what's happening around on this side. So if you were to approach a corner as such, Try to keep your distance from that corner away so you have a little bit more mobility. If I'm against the wall, I've really got only one place to go, and that's either that way or straight back. If a bad guy comes around the corner, he's got a relatively easy shot because the wall funnels his bullets right at me. So what I want to try to do is always stay away from that wall. Always approach the corner with my third eye engaged, okay? The gun is already mounted. It's high, like I like it. My both eyes are of uh, mine are open. I am watching. I'm coming around. I am ready to squeeze the trigger. I'm looking. I'm listening. I want to hear. I want to see. I want to use all my senses. I want to smell. Is anybody out there? What's going on? And I don't want to get too close to that corner. I want to peek out just a little bit, little baby steps, trying to keep myself as quiet as possible. I don't want to make any loud rustling noises because if there's a bad guy there he'll know I'm coming. Again, sneaking yourself around slowly but surely seeing if there is danger on the other side of this wall. And once there's not, then we go to the next side, the next wall. It's very, very uh, nerve-wracking this whole process of working in and around cover and using cover because uh, the difference is getting shot. Now. One of the things to talk about in CQC is shooting position. Typically, we've done most of our shooting out in the open. Chances are there's really no opportunity for you to go prone. It's too slow. You go prone, you're down on the ground, up comes bad guy rushing. It's very hard for you at a prone shot to sweep the gun around. So I suggest in this CQC environment, again, 50 yards, 25 yards, if you have cover, keep the cover crouching low again gun at the ready position okay always ready in this low martial art football type stance okay springy able to move if i have to i don't want to get down too low and get too comfortable where all of a sudden i'm overrun by someone and i don't have the ability to swing the gun around because i'm down on my knees so i like to get here have the gun ready have a little bit more mobility. Now, speaking of those positions, again, I like to tell you to rule out being prone in this environment. We're not snipers here, this is CQC. You gotta be able to move. Sitting and or kneeling, a little less uh, desirable, but certainly could work. Uh, crouching is probably what you're gonna find to be your most instinctive position. One, you want to get small, get low, get away from the gunfire. Two, it just gives you the ability to move and respond quickly without having to get up and move all your weight around. And it keeps you smaller away from gunfire. So you'll find that you'll do a lot of shooting, a lot of moving in this position, trying to stay low away from people. All right, if uh, my cameraman's gonna come around behind me now, we're gonna talk about using this wall as a system of support for some accurate shots. Sometimes in CQC shooting, you'll have the desire, the need to take an extremely accurate shot. Most of the shooting we've done now has been combat style or a, uh, a full center body mass, okay? We're not looking for precision shots, we're looking just to hit them with as many shots as possible in the center body, in the, the mass area, the chest uh, cavity of our opponent. Now, let's just talk about if you do have the opportunity to get behind some cover, take the time to uh, learn how to assist yourself 
to steady your shot. You can be extremely accurate with this gun after 200 yards, and from 50, 25, you can be hitting eyeballs if you use uh, some type of support. So basically what I'm going to do is just lean my body against the cover, all right? All of a sudden, I've got now three points, two legs, and a body lean. Go ahead, come up here. Steady my shot. And there's a headshot. And my cameraman can see down, down here. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're able to do with this kind of positioning. Okay, again, just take a little bit of extra time. Go back to the same target. Same hole, same shot. So with this kind of position by leaning against or even trapping the gun against the wall, say I was on the other side, I wanted to trap the gun against the wall, you can be much more accurate. In fact, this is where you can do your extreme accuracy. Now again, remember that I've got this gun sighted in for 100 yards. This shot is about 25 yards. The, I know that the gun is going to shoot a little bit low than where my sights are, okay? So I had to aim just slightly high. I'm talking about two inches high to be able to elicit that shot in the center of the head plate over there. So that's the kind of things that I hope you've been able to pick up here in this program is with CQC, we're talking about shooting at 50, 75, 25 yards. We're talking about multiple targets. We're talking about fast shots. We're talking about moving. And it all comes together when you start to come out to the range and train using your gun, multiple targets, doing some of the things we've shown here, using a timer, gearing yourself up to be able to do these kind of things. That is how you can get prepared for true CQC shooting with the AR-15. I'm Lenny McGill. Thanks for watching. This has been AR-15 CQC. We'll see you next time.